friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, we are continuing on with the top 10 series. I've been doing this for the last couple of years and it is coming back again for this year. As of right now, I believe I've already uploaded the top 10 blushes video. So if you missed that, go check it out. I do plan on doing this with a lot more of my collection. So just stay tuned. I'll be doing glosses. I think regular lipstick, liquid lipstick. I'll be doing single shadows and eyeshadow palettes. I will not be doing bronzers, concealers, and foundations and like setting powders because I simply don't even have 10 of each so I'm not really gonna get into that I don't really buy a plethora of those if you're interested in what I do have in my collection please check out my makeup collection and declutter series from the end of last year I think it started in November and went through December so you can go check that out if you are curious about what I use in today's video I'm going to be attacking my highlighters this was actually a really easy one for me. I gravitate towards a lot of the same highlighters and I just have some really special standout ones in my collection that I reach for a lot or that just add something special into my life. So they were pretty easy to come together. This one is a little bit different than my blush one in the sense that with the blush one, I really challenged myself to do only one from the same formula, not multiple colors, just because I have so much blush and so many favorites. In this case, I do have a lot of highlights as well, not nearly as much as I have blush, but I do have some repeats within the same line. Like I have a couple super shock cheeks for instance. So I do have some within the same line that are in this video, but I just couldn't not talk about them. They're just so special to me. They have beautiful shifts and glows and glimmers. I'm a sparkly highlight person, so if you're not into a sparkly highlight, I might not have the best recommendations for you, but I love these highlighters so much. I did also include one liquid one, which if you've been here for a while, you know which liquid highlight made it into my top 10 because I'm such a picky liquid and cream highlight person. So the fact that one even made it in my top 10 is a miracle. And I do also have my honorable mention, which is going to be reserved for my favorite highlight palette. Last year, I did include some highlight palettes in my top 10. I didn't wanna do that this year. I really wanted to focus on singles and I would leave my honorable mention to my palette. I also can't promise that all of these are still available. I think some have gotten discontinued and I'm so sorry for that. I will link everything that I can down below, but just because it's not available anymore doesn't mean it's not one of my favorite highlights. So had to talk about it. Hopefully everything I talk about will be available, but I think at least two of them aren't. So. We're gonna get into it. Again, I would love for you to guess what you think is in my top 10. What do you think my number one is? What do you just think is in my top 10 in general? I would love to hear down below. I would also love to hear your top 10 highlights or just your favorites in general. Leave them for me, leave them as recommendations for other people. I love hearing about other people's favorites. Before we hop into it though, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up. It's part of my two looks video with the new Odin's Eye Soul Main 2 palette. So you can go check that out if you are interested. And let me just give you my accessory details. These earrings are from Undoubtedly Mad. This choker is from Shop Sun & Co. And this hat is from Foxblood Shop. Oh, and this ring is from Etta Love. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my top 10 favorite highlights. All right, my friends, we're gonna get into my top 10 highlights. And again, we're gonna kick it off with my honorable mention, which is going to be saved for specifically my favorite highlight palette, which this was in my top last year. So no surprise that it is my honorable mention this year. My honorable mention is going to my Odin's Eye Alva 2 highlight palette. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I think it is gorgeous salamander up here in particular is just so glitzy. I will do some swatches for you. I feel like this truly has just such a good variety of highlighters. I use every single one, but again, Salamander is the fave. It is so sparkly and wet looking. I love this highlight palette. It's just so much fun to use. It's so ethereal. And as you'll soon see, I really like these vibes for colors for highlighters. Moving on now to my official top 10, just like the blush video, I'll be doing individual swatches on my hand. And then at the end of the video, I will have all 10 of the swatches laid out on my arm and I will just go over the shades one more time so you can see everything together. Number 10, I'm actually giving to my favorite liquid highlight. This is the Rare Beauty liquid highlight in the shade Enlighten. There are multiple shades of this, but this is my favorite one in particular. This is such a good liquid highlight. I've mentioned before, but I'm a very 
picky liquid highlight person. A lot of the time they just bunch up onto the skin really bad, they make your makeup look funny, or they just don't offer the glow that I want. And in most cases I do like more of a beaming sparkly highlight, but I feel like this just gives you such a gorgeous glow and it actually does beam a pretty good amount. This looks good by itself, but it also looks good on top of makeup. It is beautiful. It is the only liquid highlight that I've really fallen head over heels for. I do like the Freck Cheek Slimes as well, but this one really does just blow it out of the water formula wise and the glow is just so pretty and again especially on days when I'm not wearing any makeup this just adds such a beautiful glow to the skin I love it it also mixes with foundations really nicely for number nine I'm giving it to my ColourPop Super Shock highlight in the shade Candy Floss something about this is just so magical it is so sparkly and bright and beautiful it's just such a gorgeous highlight it's so smooth on the skin but gives you that beautiful icy pink sparkle I love this I personally use it kind of more as a powder like I'll just use your typical highlight brush for this but you could use this like with your sponge you could apply it kind of as a cream they're kind of a putty texture so you can kind of use them either way but this one is very pretty very bright it goes with pinky looks so nicely i love that icy effect to it it has such a good shift this is such a beautiful one from ColourPop. Number eight, keeping with ColourPop again, I'm giving to Flexitary, and this has been one of my favorite highlights for literally years. It used to be my number one favorite. I feel like I will never get sick of Flexitary, and again, it's kind of that putty texture, so you can use it kind of however you want. This one is just so smooth and bright. I feel like it's kind of like if Enlighten was in more of a putty or powder form, this is kind of what this would be. It's just so beaming on the skin. I've gone through, I think, two or three Flexitarians in my day. It's such a good go-to. You can apply it with a brush, a sponge, your finger, whatever you see fit, and it's just so shiny and bright on the face. If you're looking for a good smooth highlight, this is for sure the one I would recommend if you're looking for a powder. I think every other powder highlight I talk about today has some sparkle to it. This one doesn't really have sparkle, just lots of shine. Number seven, I'm giving to Moon Cruiser from Kaleidos. I love this highlight. This one's been very well loved. This one has kind of a bluey purple kind of shift to it. It's so pretty. I love Kaleidos highlights so much. I love literally all of them. So if you are curious about any of the Kaleidos ones, they're all amazing. But this happens to be one of my favorites. That shift is just so magical. Do you see how it glows? It kind of goes from invisible to bam, color. Invisible color. I love it. It is so cool looking on the face. I get so many compliments when I wear this. This also tops on top of your lids so beautifully. There's been many a day where I'm being a little lazy, but I still want to do something for work. And I'll just kind of slather this all over my lids and all my cheeks and call it a day. And it is magical and ethereal. And I love it. I feel like they do a good job with their formula because while it does have some sparkle and shine to it, although this one isn't overly glittery in my opinion um, they just look really smooth on the face moving on to number six rounding out the bottom five of my top ten I'm giving to my new Odin's Eye Soul Main highlight in the shade Lavender Dream this one is amazing I know that these highlights literally just came out but I got my package a few weeks ago and I've been testing these out behind the scenes and I quickly fell in love with this as you're gonna see it's a very similar vibe to the Kaleidos one but I feel like this one has more sparkle to it which definitely makes my heart happy. And I feel like it also doesn't shift as strong of a purple. It's just like a beautiful kind of lavender blue sparkly sensation. Again, it has that sparkle, but it also looks so just shiny on the face. It's actually the one I'm wearing in the intro and outro of this video. I absolutely love this. It crept its way into my heart real, real fast. And the only reason this one beat out the Kaleidos one is just because I feel like it has a little more sparkle, which I personally love. Moving on to the top five, I'm giving the number five slot to my Kaleidos Gifted Highlight. It's one of the two multi-chrome highlights and Gifted is my favorite, which is really funny to me because I feel like Prophecy is most people's favorite. This one is just so cool. It kind of shifts like green pinky. It's so just enchanting. This is another one where again, I will slather this all over my eyes and my cheeks and call it a day. It just hits the light in such a cool way. Like no matter what lighting you're in, it's gonna look different and it's just so much fun. Again, it kind of has that sparkle, but it also has just a lot of smoothness. I love this one. This one came out last winter and I fell in love with it pretty much immediately. So 
This is my favorite Kaleidos one in general, and it's my fifth favorite highlight in my collection. Moving on to number four, it is the final ColourPop one. This is the Moon Peach Super Shock Highlight from the Avatar collection. If you watched my video playing with that collection, you know how quickly I fell in love with this. I even said that I think it might beat out Flexitarian, and it definitely does for me. This one is just so unique. Again, it has that smoothness, but it's almost like a peach with a blue shift to it. It's so hard to explain because it truly does have like a peach, but it has that little bit of baby blue kind of going through it. Such a unique color. I feel like this is one of those unique shades that's gonna look good if you're wearing cool tones or even like peachy pinky tones because it kind of has both of those undertones. So beautiful. I don't know what it is. It just has such a beautiful shine and that unique glow. This one quickly became a favorite for me and I am in love with it. I hope this one stays around for a while. I know it's from a collab, so it probably won't. And who knows, it might even be gone now. I really hope not. Uh, but yeah, I love this highlight so much. Moving on to the top three, can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can because that's how these videos work. Number three is gonna be my Aether Beauty Supernova Highlight in the shade Pure Diamond Dust. They've actually done like a name change since then. Like they're still Aether Beauty, but they're, the E is gone. Um, and I actually don't know if this highlight's available anymore because I know they discontinued a lot of things, but this one was one of my favorites last year and it's still one of my favorites now. It's just so wet looking. What a beautiful highlight. When I first received this highlight, I was really worried that it was going to be a little too dark for me because it looks kind of dark in the pan, but it just looks like pure wetness on the skin. It almost doesn't even look like a powder is sitting on your skin. It just looks like you are dewy and wet and kind of have sparkle to your skin. It is so beautiful, such a versatile highlight. I think it's so beautiful to wear. It's one of those highlights where if I don't know what to wear, I can pick this up and it'll always work. I love this highlight. Honestly, if this is discontinued, they need to bring it back because this formula is amazing. Moving on to number two, I think everyone knew that this would be in my top 10. <laughs> Giving it to my Be Perfect Cosmetics Get Wet Highlight in the shade Skin Sheen. This one is also kind of a putty texture similar to the ColourPop ones, and this one is just amazing. Look at that. It's wet and sparkly, and this has kind of like a minty seafoam green shift. I desperately wanna pick up more of the shades. I really need to, just look at that. It is pure wetness on the cheeks. It is gorgeous. I love that slight like minty sea foamy shift to it. It is gorgeous. Because of the shift, I don't use it all the time, but I honestly use this one a lot. I love the finish of it. It makes your skin, again, look smooth, but sparkly, which I love. Because even though I like a sparkly highlight, I don't always want it to look like chunky glitter. And this just melts into the skin beautifully. Again, I kind of use it as a powder and just top it on my face with like a regular brush. But you could kind of treat it as a cream. You could use a sponge. You could use your finger. Uh, I just love this highlight. I love that glow. And finally, last but not least, number one. I don't think anyone is gonna be surprised. This was number one last year and it's number one again this year. Number one is my very dirty, very used and abused Fenty Beauty How Many Carats Diamond Bomb. This is disgusting, but it's because it's so well loved. I absolutely adore this. This is my number one favorite highlight. If all of my highlights disappeared, this is the first one I would get. Honestly, like I don't want all of my highlights to disappear, but if I only had to have one, this is the one that I would have, hands down. Again, it's kind of that putty texture, so you can kind of use it as a cream or a powder. I, again, tend to use it as a powder. But again, it's just pure wetness. There isn't really a base color to it. It just looks like wetness or diamonds sparkling on your cheeks. It is so gorgeous. I live for this highlight. I could wear this every single day. I wear it a lot of days. I always take this one when I go traveling because it just goes with everything. I love that sparkly smooth sensation. It's just glistening and amazing. This looks amazing in the sunlight. It looks amazing in low light. It is just such a good highlight. There's a few different shades of this. I also have the pink one, which is super cute, but this is the absolute favorite. It made it to number one two years in a row and I just love it. Just look at that. Just look at that. In order swatched out, we have the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlight in the shade Enlighten, ColourPop Super Shock Candy Floss, ColourPop Super Shock Flexitarian, Kaleidos Moon Cruiser, Odin's Eye Lavender Dream, Kaleidos Gifted, ColourPop Moon Peach, Aether Beauty Supernova Highlight in Pure Diamond Dust, Be Perfect Get Wet Skin Sheen Highlight, and Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb. I hope you liked this video. I love talking about highlighters. I love talking about makeup. I'm so happy the top 10 series is back. I would, again, just love to hear your thoughts on everything. Let's zoom out and finish up this video. 
All right, that was my top 10 favorite highlights. I hope you enjoyed my video. Did anything surprise you? I feel like nothing probably surprised you other than the new Odin's Eye one because it's like brand new, but I've been testing it for weeks, like I mentioned it before, and it just quickly stole its way into my heart. But I think everything else was probably pretty predictable. Like I said, I wear a lot of the same things. I rave about a lot of the same things when it comes to highlights, so I don't think any of that was a surprise. I love all these sparkly things, and I'm excited to hear what your favorites are as well. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me some star emojis? emojis and like water droplets. I feel like those are the best representations for highlights. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.